Hello guys, this is Navin Reddy. So today we'll talk about uh, DSCP configuration. Now uh, again, this uh, this video is specially for those people who are doing BSC IT 6M because they have a practical callers configure DSCP. Now this is your uh, eighth practical configure DSCP. So for this practical, you need again need a packet tracer. Now in this packet tracer, so we'll talk about uh, you know we have some routers here so we'll take a router so let's check a generic router and we need some machines so initially we will go for two machines so one is here second is here we need a switch to connect this to machines so so we'll go for generic switch and we'll align so it look proper so we have now one router one switch and two machines we can connect this with our wire so this is your wire and as you can see we have one green light and one orange light we have already covered the basic part of packet tracer in the first video so if you are unaware of the packet tracer so go back to the first video and watch it now as you can see this is green this is green it means it's configured but switch is configured in itself now this is the red light you have to configure this Initially, we don't have any IP for this machine, right? Because when you talk about IPs, we have to provide a range here. So let's suppose I'm going for a range, like I want machine uh, network as 192.168.10.0. This is my network. And I want to start my IP addressing from 192.168.10.2. Because again, one will be using, we'll be using one for gateway and i need ip address from 192.168.10.2 then i need to skip you know just for experiment i need to exclude i need to exclude some of the uh, some of the ip addresses so we will not using 192.168.10.3 to 192.168.10.2 to 168.10. Let's go for 50. So I don't want to use this number of IPs, right? Again, just for the experiment, uh, we are doing this. So let's suppose I have three machines. So I will start with my IP address as 10.2. Next will be 10.51 directly, okay? Because we are excluding dot three and dot 51. So now you can see this are already configured. So first we have to configure our router. In this, we'll be we'll, we'll need some uh, some commands to work with your routers. Again, you can do it using command prompt, or you can use your configured uh, GUI configuration. So initially, we'll go for GUI again. So click on your router, go to configuration, and again you can do it on CLI or you can do it on con uh, this GUI configuration. Since we are working with DSCP, so basic configuration we will do with using. GUI again if you want to go for CLI go for the first video you will you will know how to configure your router using CLI so we are connected with fast Ethernet and I will give the gateway address so it's 192.168.10.1 this will be my gateway for this router and again this is your subnet then you have to say on so once you do this your router is configured now so you can see this is a red, red symbol this is orange this is configured in itself now your router is configured to work with this link but i need to provide ip address for this machine with dscp so if you can click on this machine you can see in desktop in ip configuration we have two things one is dscp second is static so if i request a dscp ip which is automatic ips you can see, we can see, just hold on a second, you can see it's DSCP request failed. So what I want, I want to configure the router in this way so that it will give me your DSCP. Okay, so go back to your router. Then we have to work with some commands now because to configure DSCP, we have to go back with commands. Initially, we will be in enable, disable mode. So we will go for enable, so E and enable. Now you have to configure, so it's conf T. Now once you get into configured mode, you have to work with DSCP, so command is IP, then DSCP, in that you have to create a pool, so DSCP normally works with pools, now you can give any name, I will give my name which is Navin, 
So this is my pool now. This is my network. It's Navin network, and I have my own pool. Okay. So it's enter. Now, now you can see we have router with DSCP configuration mode. Now what you have to do now is we have to create a we have to define a network for which network we are working. So its network is 192.168.10.0. Now you have to mention a subnet which will define the number of machine which will be supported on this network. So I'm going for a default mask of this network which is since it is C class, 192 belongs to C class so it's 255.255.255.0. Now I have to mention this router is a default router for your DNS. So you have to mention a default router. Now this is my default router, so it's a gateway of this router is 192.168.10.1. So this is, I have mentioned the default. Now I also need to mention the DNS server because mostly when you talk about this networks, you have to also provide DNS. So for this, I will provide a DNS as 172. 172 will go for 221.121.1. .31.5. Let, let this difficult address be my DNS server. So I will copy this address as my DNS. So this is this is my DNS. So it's DNS server. So this is my DNS server. Okay. So now again I go to back to a router and I need to mention my DNS server here. So command is DNS server. So hyphen server. Then my address is this one. So this my address is it's 221 dot you can see the address here so it's 123.31.5 you can go with any IP, any dns number or dns address now once you get, get into this mode now your configuration is almost done you have to say exit now if you remember we have assigned the network so the address will start normally with one okay so it will start with one to the last which is 255 I don't want to use 1, 10.1 as my machine address because this is already the gateway. So for this you have to you have to exclude some of the IP addresses. You have to mention IP DSCP. To exclude your IPs, you have to mention it's excluded hyphen excluded hyphen address. And you have to mention the IP addresses. So 192.168.10.1. I don't want to use this address for my machines because this is gateway. So I can skip this. Once you say enter, so this is excluded. Now I want to also exclude this range, right? This range. So you have to say IP DHCP, then excluded address. It's 192.168.10.3. Two, you have to mention the endpoint, which is 192.168.10.50. Well, let let suppose we start, we go for four. To make it to look to make it look better, we'll go for four. So from four to fifty, it will be excluded, right? So again, we will change that number later. So now you cannot use four. You cannot use you cannot use till fifty. So you can assign 10.2, 10.3, 10.51 directly. Once you're done with this, you have to say exit. After exit, go back to your router. The configuration is almost done. Now we have to normally we have to wait for five seconds because switch will take some time to configure itself. So we can do some time pass. But till then, we'll edit this number. It's we'll be excluding from dot four to fifty one. So go to your machine. Now you can see this is again static. So when you click on dynamic DSCP, it's requesting your IP address and yes. So now you can see it's 192.168.10.2. Why not 10.1? Because we have excluded that IP address. Now go to this machine, go to configuration, desktop, IP configuration and DSCP. Now you can see it's 10.3. Okay. So again, we'll, it's not a surprise if you take one more machine. And put it here connect this wire to this machine now you can see it, it will take some time so again if you want to see the uh, commands it's very simple so we'll go we'll run to the commands again 
so you can see you have to first say enable then you have to no it's not, not this one not this one we started with this point right here so we have to say enabled we have to go for this configuration t right then we have to this we have to go for this command and this goes on so this this command then this one you have to set your default router then dns server then excluded excluded address this is your excluded address then you have you can exclude the whole range here and that's it so now you can see if you go to this machine desktop ip configuration so once you click on this dscp now this is your third machine right so it should get 10.4 but you will get 10.51 because you excluded 10.4 this is how you can work with dscp router or dscp server so i hope you like this video again uh, yeah one more thing if you want to check your actual auto configuration to it, it working or not so you can say show ip dhcp this is a command to to see all this uh, table and it's binding so show ip dhcp binding you can see you have already got the different addresses so it, it's you got it automatically so i hope you liked it and if you have any doubts please comment thank you so much